Kia ora tato. Kia ora. I am Peter, and I'm a recovering coffee shop owner. <laughs> two weeks ago and two days, my wife and I sold our cafe in Cornwall. <laughs> you can see there my, my beautiful wife. Please also give her a round of applause. <laughs> We built the business from scratch. We have now served or served 165,000 customers and served up many stacks of pancakes and cups of coffee. Every square inch of the building was renovated from the upstairs, the apartment, to the outside space, and all with zero experience and very li limited funds. I have learned quite a lot through this three years of how much you can take and how much you can't take, your limits. But what's been quite shocking is the rapid rise of oat milk in Europe. Not just any kind of oat milk that you see on the shelves today in New Zealand, but an oat milk that can handle the temperature and the pressure of the espresso machine and can still make that smooth, silky texture that cow milk can produce. It's been quite uncomfortable trying to catch up with the pace. Um, every store is selling out within um, hours. It'd be a race in the morning to get to the grocery store because our suppliers were running out, our fellow coffee shops were running out. In fact, in blind taste tests at our cafe, our customers couldn't tell the difference between steamed oat milk and steamed dairy milk. One in four drinks ordered at our cafe were non-dairy. And of that number, 90% was oat milk. And you're talking about the big boys like soya, the almond, the coconut, Oat milk overnight seemed to have risen to this, this level of popularity. I have been greatly honoured to be given the opportunity to move our family to New Zealand. And I thank you for this opportunity. I believe that New Zealand is the perfect place for homegrown, kiwi-approved oat milk that's heat-stable. During the EHF Welcome Week, our beautiful Iwi sisters and brothers have spoken about the importance and the power of ancestry and protecting and planning for the future. If you haven't had a conversation with them, please do. They are beautiful souls. But I have actually been quite uncomfortable with the conversation about lineage. I haven't been particularly proud of the line that I've come from. I come from a line of men who have not taken the responsibility to deal with their pain. They have not taken their responsibility highly enough to look after and care for their tribe. And in fact, I've desperately tried to disassociate and say, I'm not from them. That's not my tribe. Somehow pretending that their pain and their past won't affect me and my future. Somehow thinking that I can just start a new tribe and think, well, that's theirs, that's not mine. But by disowning my responsibility and my heritage, I'm not owning my role in helping restore the brokenness. And what I'm doing is just passing it on to my next generation, my, my children. And change is hard, as you all know. But it is my responsibility to shake off the shame and to write the new narrative for my family. So I'm standing here today and declaring that I will be intentional with my actions, not dismiss the past, and create a future personally and professionally, that's healthier for my family and for yours. I'm no stranger to the crippling anxiety of change. It's been a part of my life since I was a little boy. And even today, in the last three weeks, we sold our thriving business, packed up all our belongings, and are now living in a tent village until we move into Christchurch. So change is very hard. So I, I want to be honest and say that I'm not here to tell you that uh, what you need to change, what habits you need to adopt, what you should and shouldn't consume. But I will ask you to consider a potentially healthier um, option for your body and maybe the planet. So there are a lot of articles that talk about oat milk and the benefits, the health benefits. But this slide in particular talks about how it could actually be beneficial for our land, our water and our skies. You can see it scores quite low in emissions, land use and the water. Unfortunately, you do see the big red bar at the top. That's our current paradigm. Oat milk will taste great, and it will become barista's favorite non-dairy milk to steam, pour, and serve. So what if 
with every flat white you ordered, you were thinking of the planet with your dollars, and it changed and voted for the planet? What if your flat white could promote healthier soil and water in New Zealand? What if your flat white could help give farmers freedom and choice to diversify their income streams? What if your flat white could help support other small businesses who are trying to boost the economy? And what if your flat white could help New Zealand be the first nation where non-dairy milk is the new norm? We will hear a lot today about how the world is warming up. Instead of steaming our planet, let's steam oat milk instead. <laughs> I'm convinced that oats aren't just for breakfast anymore, and I'm ready to do something about it. So if you're, I'm looking for food technologists, food uh, plant-based enthusiasts, and anybody who wants to join me along this journey. If that sounds like your cup of tea, let's grab a coffee. <laughs>